because it is being timer season. I mean, with the weather getting warmer, we're going to want timers to turn the fans on and off. So I highly recommend against it because if your fan shorts out and the timer keeps clicking on and off, your house is going to burn down or something else. I don't know. That's your call. I mean, as long as you do your proper PMs, your fans should be fine. But I digress. Anyways, on the left is a vintage Intramatic timer, or time all, that I got at what was then my second favorite flea market for a low, low price of $8. I'll admit, it was a little bit pricey, but to be honest, you know, to be honest, I've never seen another one like it other than the one that Spats and Harley has, and um, I regret getting rid of the one that was badged Sears Kenmore. I mean, it was a nice uh, fake wood with the gold trim. I mean, it was nice. I mean, it worked well. But I regret getting rid of this. And let's take a look at the back. I already have it plugged up. I'll show you the stream demonstration in a minute. This is a Intermatic Time All Lamp and Appliance Timer. Model A921-6. Capacity 7 amps, 875 watts with a, hundred, with a quarter horsepower motor, 120, 125 volts, 60 cycles, AC only. Check local code for maximum wattage use. And here's some instructions. Feel free to pause the tape if need be. I'll show that off in a minute, but yeah. The International Register Company of Chicago, Illinois, USA, C71, so I have reason to believe this was made in 1971. I mean, it is slightly newer because it doesn't have the emblem in the middle, but you know what, I ain't worried about it, because I thought it looked cool and well worth the $8. And I have it already plugged up, but since we don't really have time to go through the, um, cycle unless I really feel like taping this for an hour and fast forwarding which I'm not going to do we're gonna set it right there and I'm gonna manually just turn the wheel and it's a little bit tough trying to do this. there we go ah. and the fan feels good right now Of course, I'm a complete idiot. I forgot to see what is wrong with the kilowatt meter. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. And then we'll. In fact, in fact pretty much keep the um, keep it on and you kind of click it there, and it'll just spin right through. So you can keep this on all you want. Engage that and turn it to off. And there we go. And over here is another timer that I bought at the Goodwill shop some years ago. This one is a Kmart. Kmart is your saving place. It's a heavy duty model. Model 5105E. Heavy duty 24 hour appliance timer. And there's the instructions. I'm not going to go through all that. But pretty sure this was made in the USA back when it meant quality. And I also have reason to believe this too was also made by Intermatic for the Kmart Corporation of Troy, Michigan. I don't know. Well, it might have been Ingram. I don't, I, I don't know. There were so many over the years that I can't really make out. But, yeah. I mean, as you notice, the label is starting to come undone a little bit. It is a little dirty. But it should still work. Because, to be honest, I bought it without even thoroughly testing it and all that stuff. So let's get it plugged up and we'll see what we got. Okay, I'm doing this at a different angle because I have this timer plugged up to the extension cord into that outlet. Excuse the mess, I live here. And hooked up to this same Dominion fan. 
So we're going to turn it on and maybe not. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't work. Okay. Well, I'm going to put it to auto. And we'll turn the dial. Oh, there we go. Turn it back on and then override it. Hmm. Okay. I think there's a reason why. I mean. The on override won't work, and uh, if I try and turn it back to auto to turn it back on, it won't come on until the time of day. I don't know. Oh well. And maybe I might use this for like, uh, remember when quality mattered? Pepper Farm remembers. I don't know. Alright, I guess I'm going to conclude this video of the Intermatic Time All from circa 1971 and the Kmart Heavy Duty Timer from circa 1984, 85, maybe earlier. I don't know. Possibly by Intermatic. I hadn't already said that. I mean, to be honest, electric timers are like a dime a dozen, but they're all China Pride. The line of Dura brand, give me five dollars, woo, whatever. But yeah. These will probably last forever and ever. Hell, even that old audio timer that I, I use for like a fan timer. Even better than today's crap. But that's just my opinion. So yeah. So I guess next time whenever it is, I must be thanks for watching. And in the comment box is open!